Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we're going to be taking a look at a level a student created as part of her fall semester exam. This level has three different demonstrations of the laws of physics, and it also came with a paper in which uh, the student described how her demonstrations exactly demonstrated the laws of physics. And let's go ahead and take a look at it from the air. We can see that this student laid out her three demonstrations in three nice nicely laid out tests one after another. Uh, this is actually something that's exemplary about this level. Many of the other levels my students created did not have this nice organization, but this is a nice one. So let's take a look at it. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze time by pressing the number two and pressing E uh, to make that hard light bridge disappear back up and we can see these two cubes lined up on top of aerial faith plates. Press the number one to make time go and we can see them fly through the air, hit each other and fall to the ground. That's a great demonstration of the law of conservation of momentum. And my student in her paper described how the laws of conservation of momentum, P equals MV, and then equating momentum before and after the collision uh, can tell us exactly what's gonna happen in that collision, which is pretty cool. Let's take a look at the next test. I'm gonna freeze time again, get rid of this hard light bridge and take a look over here at our cube sitting on top of, well not floating on top of an aerial faith plate. In her paper, my student described how we can use the laws of projectile motion and quadratic equations to tell us where this cube is going to land ahead of time, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and see. We see it fly through the air, land on the other side of the room. Very cool, not very exciting in the game, but very exciting for me as a physicist or any other physics teachers out there, because everything that's happening here is following the laws of physics. Let's go ahead and get rid of this last hard light bridge and we can just see our cube bouncing. Once again, maybe not very exciting for the general population, but very exciting for me. In my student's paper, she described how the laws of conservation of energy can tell us, or tell us how the cube's velocity when it takes off relates to how high it goes in the air at the top of its peak, uh, which is really exciting, really cool laws of physics, and something that my student did a great job of describing in her paper, and I'm pretty sure uh, she got an A on this part of the fall semester exam, which is pretty cool. Um, may not be the most always the most rigorous way to show physics, but it is a really fun way of exploring, uh, demonstrating it, illustrating it, and letting kids um, really play with physics in ways they can't do otherwise. Very cool, very exciting, and hopefully there should be more of these videos soon. So that's going to be it for tonight. Take care, everybody.